for subscribing. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos. I upload, and by the way, I upload new videos every week. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Today on Creative Glam, as I drink my coffee, it is very early in the morning. We've got hit by a nor'easter here on the East Coast, and it is very windy outside. So if you hear any noises in the background, that's the wind howling outside. It is extremely cold. But anywho, today on Creative Glam, I'm participating in a Do Something New challenge. This challenge is being hosted by, hosted by Chrissy. Chrissy has a wonderful channel here on YouTube. I will link her channel below. If you haven't seen it, go check it out and tell her Sharon from Creative Glam sent you. Now this challenge that we're participating in requires us to make something new, uh, something we haven't made before using Dollar Tree items only. There's no dollar amount, but it has to be Dollar Tree items. So I decided today, since spring is coming and it's my most favorite time of year, I'm going to make a vase, a flower vase that's going to sit outside on uh, one of the side tables on my deck. So it's not gonna go outside for a few more weeks, but I'm gonna prepare it now. I'm gonna use flowers in it from the Dollar Tree. But when I actually sit it outside, once the weather breaks a little bit, I'll put live flowers into it. But for right now, let me show you how I made my centerpiece for my deck using Dollar Tree items. If it sounds like something you're interested in seeing, and I sure hope that it is, stay tuned. This is what you'll need to get this project started. Let's make this centerpiece from the living area out on my deck. I decided I'm gonna use this as the base um, of my centerpiece. I don't know, however, if it's going to stay when I actually sit it outside because again, it's going outside and there's gonna be rain, you know, the, the April showers and everything are gonna be coming. So I don't think this can hold up in the weather, but I'm going to give it a try and see how it works out. This is what I'm going to build my vase on top of. So I'm going to use some E6000 and some hot glue. I'm thinking I should probably put my side pieces on first. Just trying to measure out where it's going to sit. That, that. Because it's going to be outside, I'm going to use a generous amount of E6000. And then I'm going to follow that up. I love that combination of E6000 and hot glue. <laughs> it works so well. Okay, so I used the E6000 and the hot glue 
to get them seated on the base and next to one another. I tried to um, put the E6000 in the, I tried to put the glue on the edges where the, the actual um, ceramic pieces, the stone pieces touch, but there is a gap there because there's a lip. There's a little divot that extends out on each side of each plaque that keeps it from um, being flush. That's what I'm trying to say. They're not flush on the ends, so I couldn't use the glue to hold them together there. So I'm going to reinforce it down here in the bottom, which I've done. I don't know if you can see that or not. I've reinforced it in the bottom with extra hot glue and uh, E6000, and I might even put tape in there. But I want to put dirt in here, and I'm going to put a plastic container in it, a liner, a plastic liner in it. Then I'll put the dirt, and then I'll put the live flowers. But for today, I'm just going to use a vase inside of this and some Dollar Tree flowers. That's going to work. But you could put floral foam in here. That would work really well. You can glue the uh, ceramic pieces or the stone pieces to the each side of the um, the floral foam, and that'll give you a more sturdier base. And I probably would have done that had I realized that the sides were not flush and they weren't going to be able to be glued together um, on the ends. But learn from what I've done. <laughs> use some floral foam but I think it's pretty good it's pretty solid in there I'm pretty happy with what I have I think that turned out really nice now um I was going to cut these off because again it's going to sit on a table but I also thought that I'd show this and if you wanted to hang this it's a little heavy so you have to make sure you had a hanger you know if you wanted to hang this outside in the garden um, you could actually do that. Um, just make sure you have a hanger that's, you know, sturdy enough to handle the weight. Because it's not that heavy, but the four of these stones make it a little, it's got a little weight to it. Um, so I thought that was kind of cute. I'm not going to be hanging it up, but I just wanted to let you, I would just want you guys to see that that is an option. I think that's cute. Now I'm going to add the flowers. The fun part, let me measure the flowers here. How about that? I'll just go with that. Let me measure. That's pretty good. Actually, it could be longer. And I just randomly place them, you know, wherever. Uh, right now, I'm still trying to get them in there. I still have one more color to go before I begin to try and arrange it to make it look. Actually, that's turning out pretty good, and I'm just throwing them in there. <laughs> I haven't arranged anything. I'm going to get as many green ones in there as I can. I'll probably do the same thing with the orange. I love this color combination. I think it's quite pretty. All right, let me 
We have these. We're just about done here. There we go. Oh, this is turning out really bright and springy. I love these colors. I've never made a centerpiece for outside. I've never even considered making a, a centerpiece for outside. But I'm certainly glad I did. I thought this was the perfect idea. So now I've got to get some um, cushions and pillows when I pull the deck furniture and everything back out. I've got to get some cushions and pillows that um, coordinate. <laughs> get it coordinate. That coordinate with this color combination. I think that's pretty good. I think that's very good. Do I need any more? I don't even know if I need any more. I think I just need to arrange them. It has that rustic, handmade garden feel. And I love it. That's exactly what I was going for. It says, sunshine, laughter, and friends are always welcome. Okay, guys, that's it. We're all done. But this centerpiece turned out really beautiful. I've made a ton of centerpieces, but not a centerpiece solely Dollar Tree. And not a centerpiece like this made of stone that will sit outside on my deck furniture for this spring. That's beautiful. I love it. I do. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my video. I had a great time participating in the Make Something New Challenge using Dollar Tree items. So thank you, Chrissy. Thank you, Chrissy, for inviting me to participate. I enjoy making my centerpiece for my outside living area on my deck. I love spring, and this has just made my anticipation for spring just that much more intense. Again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. Have a blessed day, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.